Huh. Hey guys, so got a honeybee right here that's looks like it's kind of doing some pollinating on this dandelion. You know what? I've never thought all these years I would get so close to a, a bee. You know, it's actually pretty cool. It is a little cold out here. It's about 53 degrees. It's actually pretty cool. I actually don't mind honeybees. It's a wasp that I just don't really like. <laughs> pretty cool. <clears throat> Alright, so I thought I... Today I thought I'd do a little review video on my dad's air compressor. So this is a, a, a Craftsman uh, three gallon air compressor, 1.5 horsepower motor on it. Uh, the max has a 125 maximum psi, and 2.4 SCFM at 90 psi and 3.7 SCFM at 40 psi. So it's direct drive, oil lubricated, cast iron cylinder. Whereas, uh, you know, as some compressors nowadays have uh, maintenance free pumps where you don't have to put no oil in them at all whatsoever, I'd kind of would prefer one of those. So as you see here, here's the eyeglass to tell the your oil level. Always check that before you would start to uh, power on your air compressor. Or otherwise, you could if there's like no oil in your pump, you can just burn up your pump. So it's got uh, plastic air hoses, which I'm not really a big fan of them. Apparently I no did notice a problem with it. There was actually a, a little, I noticed there was like a little air leak right here, so I sort of uh, did a little repair just by putting some electrical tape. I haven't even tried it out yet. I don't even know if the, the electrical tape will even hold it. I kind of have a feeling it'll probably will, the air will probably end up punching a, a hole through the tape. But, oh well. I kind of would prefer one of those uh, them rubber air hoses instead of this kind. But, I mean, it's not that bad. And uh, I did show this in my, uh, my uh, December update video that I did last month which that I had thought that the pump had actually was uh, going out on it but I think apparently what the problem was uh, I plugged this thing into two extension cords I think that's what could have been the uh, the problem that could have been the reason on why that it was uh, lacking power I mean I've plugged it into just that one long extension cord that's that you see right there. I have did that. I've plugged it into that one before and have not had any problems but I just didn't feel like unrolling that that whole thing that time when when I was trying to put air in the tires in my mother's car. So, so there's your uh, gauges right here. This little knob here is a, uh, a regulator valve. You can adjust it either way by of how much uh, air you would want uh, that you would want from coming out of the tank. So there's two gauges. I think this one uh, is for like the amount of uh, PSI that's inside the tank and I think that this one is probably for with the amount of PSI that will uh, come out of the tank I'm not too sure 
about that. But that, at least that's what I think. <clears throat> and uh, let me uh, flip it over to the other side. So here's all the specs on it. And there's the model number for it. Model number is 921-153-101. Of course, it's the three gallon. And of course, it's made in China. Even though Craftsman is a huh, an American company. And there's the date when it was built. It was built in April of 2005. And there's the serial number. Here's the drain valve. You can tell that it's closed. You just screw it in like that. That will drain all the air out. And it says that you should always, after when you're done using your compressor, you should always drain it all out. I think that's probably for just to prevent uh, any condensation from forming into the tank. At least that's at least that's what I think, but I'm not sure about that. But that's what that's what they say, and I always do that. Whenever I after every time I use it, or whenever my dad would use it to like uh, put air in the tires on his uh, bicycle. So I got like the, right now it's got like the little uh, blow nozzle that's on it, or whatever you call it. I sort of call it like a little air blower. And a little quick coupler, which is, which these are really nice. You know, apparently, since having this compressor all these years, my dad never did put this coupler on at all, <clears throat> just until I actually found it uh, today. Where I think he would just, he would just, whatever he would need for the air compressor to, he would always have to just twist it on to the hose. Whereas this thing, with the coupler, you can just pull it off. So you just grab your fingers on this and just pull it. That just pops right off. And you can also change attachments like for instance like a tire inflator so you just uh, put that in macro so you can see that a little bit better so you just pull on this stick the, the tool in push in and then push up on that and it's in it's locked in there's no way it'll come out and I even found like two adapters right here that were in that desk over there right near the, uh, the owner's manual of the compressor uh, let's see if I can try to get I don't know there's so much crap in here it's not even funny. Yeah, see right there, there's the manual for the compressor. Okay. So I thought, let's take this thing outside, plug it in, and kick it on. See how well she works. This thing is very heavy. Oh, man. All right. Uh, let me get it closer to the outlet because this cord is not long enough. <clears throat> kind of hard to do this one-handed. 
which I really apologize for that. Okay. Has a three prong cord. All right, she's plugged in. I'm gonna hook this back onto the unit. So let me set the camera down for a second. All right. And so we'll kick this thing on. It's This thing is pretty loud. That's one, that's actually just one thing I just don't really like too much about this air compressor. It is, it is a, a loud machine. All right, so let's kick it on. And let's see how it sounds. Not a bad compressor. It should probably start kicking off here in a little bit. It'll probably start to kick off once it gets past 120 psi. Well, I decided to shut it off manually, and still got a leak right here, so it looks like the tape didn't quite hold up very well, but it's actually better than it was, but oh well. I think I got another leak too, just when I put this cover on. I probably should have stuck some... Uh, some uh, Teflon tape onto the uh, threads, but that's all right. So yeah, doesn't have enough power to actually blow leaves. Actually, this little blower actually has another type of nozzle. Here it is, right here. So usually to change out nozzles, you can just twist this one off. I'll do that right now. If you can see me. 
So we just twist that knob off. Now we'll put this other one on. Now it should have even more power too. Well, or it did, since now I'm losing air. Huh, oh well. I probably may need to get a new probably may need to get a new air hose. I don't know how long this cord is. I I mean this hose. I think it's about I'm gonna say probably 25 feet which is definitely perfect for uh, on what for us because we don't need like a really big air compressor though I kind of was thinking about getting my own air compressor but you know what I kind of do have second thoughts this actually is a pretty good air compressor so again this is a, a craftsman 125 maximum PSI, 1.5 horsepower, 3 gallon air compressor. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. So, uh, thanks for watching.